You are listening to the Mark Guzman Podcast Experience. And so a common question that uh, you get when it comes to taxes, um, I'm sure many people are wondering about the latest tax law. Oh, yeah, the latest now, tax law. And I've had a few people ask me if that uh-huh. tax law is for 2017 or if it starts in 2018. No, well, the the Trump proposal uh, is being enacted by Congress, but it's not in effect yet, so all the old law is still applicable on 2017 tax season. And the only thing that I have gathered for effective date is January 1st, and that's applicable for mortgage interests who are in the old law, 2018. The old law is $1 million and it was reduced to $750,000. Um, you know, thousand for mortgage interest in order to be deducted, but that's applicable to principal residents. The rest is not affected on rental property. Okay. It's still the same. Okay. And then do a lot of people come to you with questions about deductions for children? Because I know that's... Oh, you know, yeah, the deduction, we, which is the dependent issue correct. right now. Yeah. Um, we're in, it will be, it will be... Um, in 2018, not 17, we're in the dependency um, personal deductions will be eliminated. And it will double the standard deduction. That's in, in lieu of what was eliminated, the dependency um, allowance for, um, you know, for children. Yeah, I, I was reading some articles of how this new tax law is not really going to help many people. It does, yeah. But um, self-employed people mm-hmm. or owners of pass-through entity businesses mm-hmm. are going to get a little, Break. they're going to get like a 20% help up to a certain limit. Yeah, that's applicable to corporation um, because the corporation tax rate, it was changed to 20%. In that way, they will be coming back to the United States because most corporations are outsourcing out of the United States because the United States is the highest tax rate, including the state. Um, out of the 163 nations, we are the highest tax rate base. In, in regards to corporation, to businesses. So uh, President Trump really lower the rate to 20, uh, 20%. In that way, you know, to improve the employment industry uh, coming back. Like incentivize them to come That's back. That's right, yeah. incentivize them to come back. And they are coming back, the corporation. So it's really working then? It's really working, but still not applicable. It will be uh, applicable this year, not in 2017. All those proposal is still not in effect in 2017. Yeah, so, and the other thing with that new tax reform too, and correct me if I'm wrong, but um, you also get a 20% deduction from the taxes owed if you're self-employed and you have a pass-through income. So if for example, if you're a, an LLC or mm-hmm. so, sole proprietorship yeah. or limited liability partner, and um, you know we'll use real estate as an example, uh, and also at the Association Realtors Conference, they mm-hmm. had a sample breakdown of how a realtor who makes an average income of fifty five thousand a year is mm-hmm. going to pay about fifty percent less in taxes. Mm-hmm. Those just are with the new for tax the pass through entity like LLC yeah. and everything. You know, they receive Schedule K um, or a, a single member LLC, which still reporting is on Schedule C ten forty. You know, they they get a break on that one, uh, but there is an income limit of uh, 150000 in order for them to be able to um, deduct their write-offs, which is 25000 limit of the loss. Oh, so there's a 
a yeah. limit. You yeah, can... there's a limit for the loss, okay, the operation loss of 25000 And there's also um, an income limit of 150. Um, if it's more, If the income is more than 150, it, it is suspended on Form 8582, which is a positive loss, you know, that you can only avail to that loss once you sell the property. It will accumulate, though, which is really, you know, it's a write-off, and that really reduces your capital gain tax should you not exercise the 1031 exchange. Now, now going above that $150,000 limit, um, the one big topic that they were discussing is how it's going to benefit a lot of property owners, like actual investors that own many, many That's right. uh, uh, properties. Mm -hmm. Now, and I guess part of that is to qualify for that 20% deduction. Mm -hmm. There's something with meeting 50% payroll figures. Oh, yeah. And the payroll really helps. Payroll, it's a write up. Uh -huh. Yeah, and payroll, paying yourself as an owner counts mm -hmm. toward that payroll figure. So not, how does that work? Not just payroll, pensions, retirements. Really, it's an expenses on your Schedule C or your, um, you know, your K-1 that really lowers your, your, the bottom line net income. So it reduces the taxable income. But what's the requirement with that 50% limit? There's something with like a 50% limit of the W-2 salaries that you actually pay out? Well, let me check on that one. You know, is that the, I have not seen um, that, that, that new law yet on that one and the 50%. Um, but the current law right now, okay, um, you can expense off payroll, retirement, and uh, pensions uh, direct from your, uh, gross income. Yeah, look into that. I'm curious to see what your thoughts are yeah. on that mm -hmm. um, because it had to do with something with this was a loophole for large, large uh, property investors mm -hmm. that own a ton of property where it, it, it's something to where if you if if at least 50 percent of uh, total salary paid is a certain dollar amount, then you qualify for that extra 20%, regardless of the $150,000 limit. And this mm -hmm. is a loophole for big investors because they could pay themselves as an owner a salary and take advantage of it, which is why part of it was criticized because there, Trump is a real estate guy. Oh, yeah. And He's this applying. loophole is there specifically for him That's and his group. That's right. Uh huh. Yeah. Well, the only thing I can think of for that 50% loophole is that um, it, it, it's applicable to investors' retirement and pensions, wherein you can, uh, you know, you can take deductions for that. And uh, that's all I can think of, of, of the 50% the in that way. You're subject to 20%, you know, um, uh, is it 20% tax or what? That you have uh, gathered. Like, did, like deduction? Uh-huh. Deductions. I'm not familiar to that because uh, most of my 1031 or investors are only on a four, uh, four properties, not on the one that you were think of, thinking of, like uh, the President Trump. Okay. Um, now, in California, though, mm -hmm. they're lowering that interest deduction from a million down to 750000 mm -hmm. correct? Yes. And that's for primary residents only. That's right. That's right. And that is a huge deal. I mean, it's going to affect many people in California, but it's also a lot better than what it could have been. Yeah. Because at one point they were talking about eliminating it entirely. Mm -hmm. And then they came back with one of the proposals that they wanted 500,000 mm -hmm. and they ended up settling at 750,000. Seven, 750, which is really, 
better than 500. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. But that 250,000 drop is going to affect a lot of people. Now, does this also apply to second homes? Uh, I believe so. The 750,000? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, second homes considered as, you know, a principal um, residence. So you can deduct that one. But it's limited to 750 now, effective January 1st. 2018. Okay. Are there any other ways that Californians are going to be affected by this um, by this tax bill? Uh, I believe California conforms to it. Okay. What about, and here's another question for you, um, the $10,000 limit that's On in the On the tax real bill. estate. Mm -hmm. so, so I've heard two things. I've heard it's $10,000 limit on... Property, property taxes, taxes you can deduct mm -hmm. but then i also heard another thing where it's property taxes and or state income tax so you're still limited so if let's say your property taxes are six thousand and your state income tax is six thousand that's a total of twelve thousand well, where yeah. before you could deduct the full twelve thousand uh -huh. but now you're going to be limited and capped at ten thousand yeah it's is that a cap. correct yeah it's a cap of ten thousand Okay, so that's going to hurt Californians even more because yeah. not because for some people that depend on taking that deduction for both property taxes and state income tax, now they're capped at 10,000 mm -hmm. and whatever above that whatever amount above that, they're going to have to pay taxes on that. Yes. Yeah. Okay. That's in 2018. Not this Not year. Not 17. Not 17. Okay. But yeah, so going forward, um, it seems like Californians are definitely going to be paying a lot more in uh, yeah. taxes. Yeah. And that's the reason why the corporation was given a break of 20%. Because including the, uh, the state taxes, you know, it's really, really high. The old law. But now it's 20%. That, that's the reason why some corporation now are giving bonuses because of the break of 20 percent to their employees i bet you they're giving it to the executives and yeah. not all the employees yeah. <laughs> okay so what do you see happening in the next five to ten years with this tax bill well i can see that this new um trump you know tax plan really it will be uh in, in a cup in a one or two years, they will always do um, revisions. So uh, no one can predict, but it will be subject to. Thank you for listening to this podcast short. For more podcast content, be sure to subscribe to all of our podcast channels on YouTube, iTunes, iHeartRadio, Spotify, Libsyn, CastBox, Podbean, and literally anywhere else you listen to podcasts.